Deserts are often thought of as hot, barren places with little to no rainfall. While it's true that the lack of rain is a defining feature, the reasons behind this scarcity of moisture are complex and vary significantly across different desert types. Deserts form for a range of regions including their geographical location, atmospheric circulation patterns, and unique regional conditions. Understanding why deserts lack rain requires us to explore these underlying causes that shape each type of desert on Earth. The most widespread deserts on Earth are the subtropical deserts. These deserts, like the Sahara, Arabian, and Kalahari are located around 20 degrees to 30 degrees north and south of the equator in regions with intense sunlight and dry, stable atmospheric conditions. Their lack of rainfall is largely due to the heavily cell circulation, a global wind pattern that transports air away from the equator towards these latitudes. At the equator, warm, moist air rises and cools, leading to heavy rains. However, as this air moves poleward, it descends over subtropical regions, becoming dry and compressed, creating high-pressure zones. These high-pressure areas suppress cloud formation and precipitation, resulting in clear skies and minimal rainfall, which are ideal conditions for deserts to form. Next are the rain shadow deserts, which develop due to mountains blocking moisture-bearing winds. As moist air approaches a mountain range, it rises, cools, and releases its moisture on the windward side in the form of rain. By the time the air reaches the leeward side, it has lost most of its moisture, and as it descends, it warms up, lowering relative humidity and creating arid conditions. This phenomenon, known as the rain shadow effect, is responsible for deserts like the Mojave and Great Basin in North America. Here, mountain ranges like the Sierra Nevada trap the moisture from the Pacific, leaving the inland areas dry and barren. Coastal deserts offer another unique scenario. Deserts like the Atacama in South America and the Namib in southwestern Africa are situated along cool ocean currents. These currents cool the air above them, preventing it from rising and causing condensation. Although these regions are near large bodies of water, they receive little to no rainfall because the cool air along the coast is too stable to create rain clouds. The cool, dry air results in an arid coastal environment with the Atacama Desert being one of the driest places on Earth. Polar deserts provide yet another perspective on desert formation. Located in the Arctic or Antarctic regions, these deserts are extremely cold, with their dryness stemming from the air's inability to hold moisture at such low temperatures. While we may think of deserts as hot, polar regions meet the technical criteria for deserts because they receive very little precipitation, often less than 25 cm per year. The frigid temperatures prevent evaporation, but the lack of rainfall classifies these areas as deserts nonetheless. Finally, there are continental deserts, which form in the interiors of large land masses, far from oceanic moisture sources. By the time winds carrying moisture reach these remote regions, they have already lost much of their water content. The Gobi Desert in Asia is a prime example of this type of desert, where its location deep within the continent limits the amount of moisture it can receive. 
In summary, deserts form for a variety of reasons, all of which result in the lack of rainfall that defines these arid regions. Whether due to atmospheric pressure patterns, geographical barriers, cold ocean currents, extreme polar climate, or isolation from moisture sources, each desert has its own distinct set of causes. Rather than being barren simply because it doesn't rain, each desert's dryness can be traced to specific environmental and climatic factors. These factors reveal a complex interplay of geography, climate, and atmospheric dynamics that collectively explain why deserts exist in such diverse locations around the world. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.